Hey everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Kieran. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. Today is our first day out on the ice. It is officially our first time out ice fishing um, and it's a beautiful day out here as you can see. Uh, I'm hot from drilling holes and so I'm in a t-shirt. Uh, where are we? We are at Eagle Lake today. And uh, we are looking to target some pike and walleye today if we can get on them. Also going to be our first opportunity to check out the new EOYO cameras and also the new Mr. Big Buddy heater. So looking forward to all of that and uh, looking forward to being comfortable in the tent. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> let's get to it. Okay, everybody, before we get to fishing inside the tent, I just wanted to talk a little bit about ice fishing safety. Talked a little bit about it last time when we talked about the CO2 detector, which we do have with us today. There's a couple other things that help you be safe out here on the ice. A lot of people have these types of things. These are uh, ice picks. Ours are not retractable. This is a different kind than those retractable ones that you see. Uh, these are from Rapala and they just slide into one another. That's how you protect the, uh, the ends. Basically, if you fall through the ice and hopefully that never happens, you just pull these things apart and you grab onto them and you can use yourself, uh, these uh, spikes on the end to pull yourself out of the hole and pull yourself along the ice. So Kieran and I both have a set of those ice picks today. And the other thing that we picked up is a spud bar. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a spud bar is, you can use this to check the depth of the ice. Basically, uh, you just hit the ice really hard. Now, I'm not gonna be able to get through the ice here today because this ice is eight inches thick, but if this was really thin ice, this uh, really sharp metal chisel would go right through and would tell us that the ice was too thin. So this is a very handy thing to have as you're walking out onto ice for the first time just to check the ice depth. So there you go, a couple of safety things. And um, now we're gonna try to get to fishing. Before I do, one last thing today, you guys will see I'm rocking a different t-shirt today. This is just a shout out to another Kieran from the Sunfish King who uh, sent us this t-shirt. We are also sponsoring his videos for the month of December. And so uh, he's done a great job supporting us and giving us shout outs on his channel. And uh, we've gained a lot of subscribers from, from uh, having Kieran participate. And so um, if you guys have never attended a live stream, Sunfish King does live streams all the time where he views people's videos and um, reacts to them and, and also does live streams. We've been on their live stream several times uh, answering questions and just having a chat. So shout out to you, Kieran. Thanks for the t-shirt, looking great. And of course, uh, I'll give you the back view too. There you go. All right, let's catch some fish. All right, everybody. Just a quick shot here of our setup, but also I'm gonna be quiet for a second, just in case you've never been out listening to the sound of ice crack. I'm gonna lie, it's a little bit terrifying. <laughs> so dad just got the first fish here. Oh, nice. Got that one right on the underwater camera. We did, we got the footage of it biting <laughs> on the yo-yo, which is awesome, but we didn't have the, the GoPro with us. That's a nice size fish. For, for Eagle Lake, that's a decent walleye. Oh. Right yeah, there. Some major sun in the background. <laughs> First ice fishing fish of the year. Nice uh, Eagle Lake walleye. We're gonna get him back in the hole. I'm gonna do the release here. And there he goes. Awesome. Woo! All right, well done. Thank you. Let's get a couple more. There. Okay, Dad just picked up another, another walleye by what we saw on the camera. <laughs> He's not want to come up. There we go. He's close. Oh, I'm thinking oh, uh, you caught my camera there. I lost him. There. Oh, I oh. lost him when I'm on the camera cord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody, so. You can see the setup we got going here. We got both of our yo-yo cameras down the hole. How we set it up is we've got our fishing rods in uh, the far holes in the tent here. And then we've got 
these buckets covering our camera holes. The cameras are about a foot and a half to two feet away from the the lures that we, the bait that we're using and uh, I'm just showing you the screen here of my Yoyo camera and hopefully you can see that it's picking up uh, my baits and if I move them a little bit you'll see them go on the screen there um, so the cameras are working great and we have picked up quite a few fish on them already all walleye so far there's Kieran making some minor adjustments with the camera positioning system probably had four or five walleye go by so far I caught the one and I actually lost another one and then we had a couple that were curious that didn't do anything so working really good we got the new Mr. Big Butter heater going in here it's actually pretty toasty I'm sitting here in a t-shirt beautiful condition so we just need the walleye to come back and keep biting where's your fish? I don't know <laughs> <laughs> hopefully soon all right you guys so just going back to pick up some gear here we just decided to move we caught uh, that one fish and had another one and saw a few but haven't seen anything since so we decided to move as you need to do sometimes in ice fishing so um, the area I'm pointed to is currently where we're sitting and if I turn around probably right into the Sun here you can see uh, where we set up now so we're a little bit apart just an update on the ice conditions out here Beautiful day, as I said, from a temperature perspective, but ice conditions are almost perfect as well. Wish there was a little bit more snow on the ice just because it's uh, more difficult to walk on. And it's very slippery. Uh, when there's a little bit of snow patches like these, makes it a lot easier to walk on the ice, but uh, other than that, pretty much perfect. The water is relatively clear, as I said, eight inches of ice, and it's a beautiful day out here. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna move to the next hole and We'll see if we can pick up some more fish. Hopefully we can get a couple more before the end of the day. All right, everybody, so the fishing's been a little bit slow. Uh, we have seen some more go across the camera. Uh, that's the problem with the underwater cameras is you can see the fish, but you can't make them bite. So um, we've seen a few pike recently go by, but haven't been able to hook up to them. So I thought I'd show uh, the camera positioning system. As you guys can see, we got our pails here with our styrofoam balls and uh, got our cameras running right here how this thing works is if i wanted to move this a little bit and so center my baits all i got to do is turn this and you don't have to turn it much there now i just have to turn it back the other way back towards my lure and uh, it works pretty good once you get it there you don't really have to change it and there's my back on my lure again works really well so have to say that the uh, bucket styrofoam ball was a hit, was a success, so that's a good thing. No, I just wish we had a few more fish on the ice, but anyway, getting close to the end of the day here. We might be calling it soon, so we'll see. Okay, everybody, that's it. End of the day, the sun's going down. Uh, just the one fish today, unfortunately, but uh, we saw a lot, so mm -hmm. I guess the cameras worked. <laughs> um, yeah, we definitely saw quite a few on the cameras and some pike that were really making us angry because they wouldn't bite actually one took a swipe at Kieran's uh lure and he, and he didn't get it but uh anyways the cameras definitely work good what about the Mr. Big Buddy yeah it's uh pretty great <laughs> <laughs> uh heats up pretty fast as well so that's good definitely be using that later in the season as well yeah it was pretty toasty in there we we tried it out on the high setting for just a couple of minutes and it <laughs> warms up in there very very fast with that thing on so uh, it's definitely nice to be toasty inside. Anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Um, we will be back out on the ice again soon, probably from a different location, but it was nice to get out and test out the equipment. Mm -hmm. And remember guys, if you liked the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Until next time, good fishing. All right, you guys, just a little after credit here. Um, First of all, the shacks are starting to show up. This one's just sitting along the edge here waiting to go out, but it's got some solar panels on it. That's cool. Gotta like seeing the solar panels to charge it up, but let me show you something else that I think is a little bit crazy. So ice just formed, and yes, we said there's eight inches, but you know, it can vary. Um, ice conditions last week were 
in some places four inches. And so would I be out there with a full trailer and my vehicle? I don't think so. A little too early for me. I hope they stay safe. <laughs>